in the last class we have uh, discussed the how do we elucidate the nucleus of cholesterol or the ring structure or the ring size of cholesterol we have seen how do we check or we have elucidated the number of rings on the cholesterol and also the ring size of uh, each ring now today we shall take up uh, how do we elucidate or uh, establish the position of OH group and the double bond now uh, you may be uh, remembering that during the initial preliminary uh, test of uh, structure elucidation we have said that uh, we have found that there is only one OH present on uh, cholesterol and also only one double bond present because one OH pre was present because it took only one mole of acid for esterification and only one double bond is present because it took up only one mole of hydrogen or one molecule of hydrogen or bromine for to react with the double bond. Now keeping these two points in mind, we shall move forward to check or to elucidate the position of the OH present and also the position of the double bond. And remember, we have also said that the OH present on cholesterol is a secondary OH group. Now, to know the position of OH group, we need to carry, uh, I mean, the following reactions were carried out on cholesterol. Okay, cholesterol was uh, reduced or hydrogenated, uh, followed by uh, oxidation to get cholesterol. On hydrogenation, you get cholesterol, which on uh, oxidation will give you cholesterol. This on treating with HNO3 gave you, that is rigorous oxidation, gave you dicarboxylic acid. And this dicarboxylic acid on pyrolysis gave keto. Okay, this is the uh, reaction. Now we have to uh, analyze this particular sequence of reactions. Now when you see here, a cholesterol on uh, hydrogenation and followed by oxidation gave you cholesterol. Both cholesterol and cholesterol have the same number of carbon atoms and the same number of hydrogen atom and the same number of oxygen atom. Okay, so when you hydrogenate it first, a mole of a molecule of hydrogen is introduced into cholesterol. Later on, on oxidation, it is getting converted to ketone. The alcohol is getting converted to ketone. Now, on treating this ketone with uh, HNO3, you are getting dicarboxylic acid. Now, when you see the, when you uh, check the cholesterol and the dicarboxylic acid, you find that both the carbon compounds have the same number of carbon atoms. Okay. Now, when compound 3 and compound 5 have the same number of compound, uh, carbon atoms, we can say that the keto group is present in the ring. Okay, we have uh, said that cholesterol has an OH group. Okay, now where is that OH present? That's what we are checking. And when we converted the alcohol to a keto group, keto compound and that keto compound was subjected to oxidation to get a carboxylic acid. But then when we oxidize this keto compound, we got dicarboxylic acid. That implies that the keto compound or uh, keto group uh, on the cholesterol is present in the ring. It is attached directly to the ring. It is not present on the side chain. If it was present on the side chain, we would have got uh, carboxylic acid with less number of carbon atoms. But here we are getting dicarboxylic acid with the same number of carbon atoms. Now uh, on pyrolysis of this uh, dicarboxylic acid, we got carbon compound 6 which has got one carbon less than the dicarboxylic acid. The keto compound has one carbon less than the uh, dicarboxylic acid. That means the dicarboxylic acid must be a 1,6 or 1,7 dicarboxylic acid. 
if it was a 1,5 dicarboxylic acid, you wouldn't have got the keto compound with one carbon less. Okay, so uh, this point you remember now. The how do you get this dicarboxylic acid? This is obtained when cholesterol opens its one of its ring ring opening ring opening results in the formation of dicarboxylic acid with the same number of carbon atom okay ring opening of a ketone gives dicarboxylic acid with the same number of ketone as uh, sorry carbon as that of the ketone okay so that means the OH again is present on the ring. Now, on which ring is present? We have got four rings, isn't it? Ring A, B, and C. On which ring is it present? We need to establish. And where exactly? Now, OH cannot be on ring D because ring D is a five membered ring, isn't it? And if it was on ring D, we would have got one 5 dicarboxylic acid. But here we are getting one 6 or one 7. Okay, so that means. Uh, the keto group or the OH group must be present either on uh, ring A, B or C. Okay, so now we have to see whether on which ring is it present on ring A, B or C and if it is present on A, B or C, where exactly it is present. Alright, now cholesterol uh, on uh, uh, treating with HNO3 gave you dicarboxylic acid. If it was on uh, uh, this, uh, uh, when you get, if it was on ring A, you will get these two dicarboxylic acid. Now, this, the formation of these two dicarboxylic acid indicate that the keto group of cholesterol is flanked on either side by methylene group. That means you get CH2CO, CH2 and if this uh, if it is to be I mean if it is to be flanked by methylene group then it is possible only if OH is present on ring A because you can see here rings D we have already uh, said that uh, the it will not be present or it will not be present on ring D on ring C you have these two free carbon atoms now, when OH is, if OH is present on this carbon, then it is not flanked by CH2 on both sides, isn't it? On these two carbon atoms, if OH is present or the keto group is not flanked or surrounded by two CH2 group on either side. Similarly, for ring B also, that possibility is not there. Ring A, it is possible if you have OH group or keto group on this carbon, it is flanked by, so it is 1, 2, second carbon, it is flanked by CH2, CH2, and third carbon also, it is flanked by CH2, CH2. Okay, you can see CH2, CH2. So the, if keto group is present on second carbon or OH is present on second carbon, then it is flanked by carbon 1 and carbon 3 methylene groups. If it is present on carbon 3, it is flanked by carbon 2 and carbon 4 methylene groups. Okay, so OH must be present either on carbon 2 or carbon 3 and on ring A. Okay, so you have the cholesterol where you treat it with HNO3, you get these two dicarboxylic acid. Okay. Now, if uh, it was present on ring, I mean the OH was present on ring, uh, sorry, carbon 3, you will get the keto group on carbon 3 and uh, when you treat it with HNO3, you will get these two dicarboxylic acid. Now, if OH is present on carbon 2 and you carry out oxidation, then you get these two carboxylic acid as the uh, uh, I mean, these two. This will be the structure of the dicarboxylic acid, which you get on treatment of the keto group, ketone, cholesterol with HNO3. Okay. Now, the position of OH on carbon three was established or was confirmed by Ken et al. So, cholesterol on hydrogenation gave you cholesterol. This. Uh, 
uh, on oxidation gave you cholesterol. This on uh, treatment with methyl magnesium iodide, Grigonat reagent, gave you this methylated compound, which on selenium and distillation gave you 3,7 dimethyl cyclopentene of phenyl 3. So the position of the methyl group on carbon 3, um, 3 primes, okay, 3 prime 7 dimethyl cyclopentene of phenyl 3. This methyl group is po position of, meth I mean, the presence of methyl group over here is possible only if OH is present on carbon 3. Okay, so uh, that's how the uh, position of OH was established. Now we shall see the position of double bond. All right. Now, uh, to establish the position of double bond, the following series of reactions were carried out. Cholesterol was first treated with hy uh, hydrogen peroxide, that means hydroxylation was done, and uh, you got cholesterol triol. So, the uh, triol, two more OH has been introduced. So, one OH was already present on cholesterol, the other two OH has been introduced by the hydroxylation of double bond. Okay, and this triol on oxidation gave hydroxycholestein dione. Okay, that means only two OH has been oxidized. The other OH is remaining unaffected. So that implies that the two OH, out of the three OH, two OH are secondary in nature and the third one is tertiary in nature. Now we have already established that one OH that is present on cholesterol is secondary OH. Okay, so the other two OH groups which has been introduced to cholesterol on hydroxylation, out of those two, one is tertiary and the other one is secondary in nature. This hydroxycholestein dion uh, on treatment with the zinc, okay, zinc and acetic acid gave cholestein dion, the OH, tertiary OH has been removed. Okay, so you get cholestan dione. Now, this cholestan dione on oxidation gave you tetracarboxylic acid. And there is no loss of carbon atom. The cholestan dione and the tetracarboxylic acid has the same number of carbon atom. You can see here C27, H44. Here also it is C27. Now, uh, this implies that when you when there is no loss of carbon atom, when you treat the dione with uh, 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 CrO3, that means when you oxidize, oxidize the dione, when there is no loss of carbon atom and when uh, you are getting tetracarboxylic acid, that means the two keto groups are present in different rings. Again, we already know one keto group is present in ring A, or at position 3. That's from the OH already present in cholesterol. Now, cholesterol dione on treatment with hydrazine gave you pyridazine derivative. Okay, you get pyridazine derivative when you treat with dione only if the two keto groups are present in gamma position to each other. Okay, so when you get, when you treat with tetracarboxylic, I mean, sorry, when you treat cholesterol dion or when you oxidize cholesterol dion, you're getting tetracarboxylic acid. That implies the two keto groups are on different ring. Okay, that means the OH is already present in uh, cholesterol on ring A and uh, the double bond are in different ring. So the double bond must be either on ring B, C or D. And when you get pyridazine derivative, the two keto groups must be gamma to each other. Okay, so if the two keto groups has to be gamma to each other, obviously the other keto group must be on ring B, C or B or C or D. I mean, it must not be on uh, ring A because ring A already has a keto group from carbon 3, from the OH on carbon 3. So keeping these in mind, uh, coming, I mean, coming to these conclusions, this was, the structure was established like this. Okay, cholesterol 
cholestantriol, the double bond across the cholesterol has been hydroxylated and you get cholestantriol, the sun oxidation gave you diketone and hydroxydiketone, okay, the tertiary hydroxy group is unaffected and then uh, or you remove the OH group by treating with zinc, you get a dione. That dione you're treating with, you're again oxidizing to get tetracarboxylic acid, wherein ring A and B has been opened. Okay, and pyridazine derivatives obtained when because of the gamma position uh, of the two keto groups. So the double bond must be present between carbon 5 and 6. Okay, then only you get a keto group on this gamma position to this carbon three. Okay, so to get a keto group gamma to carbon three, you the double bond must be on between five and six carbon five and six of cholesterol. That means in ring P. And this was further supported by the this set of reaction. Cholesterol was converted to cholesterol. That means the OH group has been converted to keto. That and oxidation gave keto acid. Okay, now uh, formation of keto acid with the loss of one, see one carbon dioxide has been lost. With the loss of uh, carbon dioxide or one carbon atom implied that the keto group and the double bond may be present in the same ring. Okay, and uh, if that is to happen, then you won't get uh, hydrazine, I mean the pyridazine derivative, isn't it, if it is present on the same ring. But the uh, UV spectral studies shows that the lambda max of cholesterol is 240 nanometer. That's possible if it is an alpha beta unsaturated keto. So the double bond and the keto group are conjugated. And that is possible if the double bond in cholesterol migrates during the formation of cholesterol. And that happens if the double bond is present between 5 and 6. So the double bond between 5 and 6 migrates to uh, the, uh, carbon four, between carbon 4 and 5 during the formation of cholesterol. This is cholesterol. Okay, and this cholesterol then uh, on oxidation, K-4 oxidation gives you the keto acid. So this keto acid is formed by the migration of the double bond from carbon 5, between carbon 5 and 6 to carbon 5 and 4. Alright, so that's how the structure or the position of double bond has been established. And so we have established the nucleus that is it is tetracyclic in nature we have said that the, we have also established that the ring size of on the, the nucleus the four rings out of the four rings three rings are six membered and one ring is five membered and we have also established the position of OH group it's a secondary OH group on carbon three and now we have said that the position of the double bond is between five and six now we need to establish the nature of the side groups okay we shall do it in the next class all right if you have any more clarifications please feel free to ask thank you